I want you I want you just to just to talk about the the medicine field for a second and and I, I want you just to just just break this down a little bit more because from my understanding you know just just around like the medical field and and I, I'm, I'm going somewhat general like just in terms of like doctors and everything like that the, these individuals you don't see really you know making a brand for themselves or you don't see them out on social media very, very few you might see with podcasts so why so like you being in this field why is it that you do want to like you want to branch out a little bit yeah well you don't see a lot of us doing what we're what i'm doing or what very few people are doing simply because it's not taught and it's sometimes it can even be discouraged um you're taught to keep your head down keep moving to study uh, you have to do that for so long and then you finally finish and you're still trying to grind to get your practice established um, and always trying to meet quotas with patients and surgeries and especially working in now a lot of times people are working for large industries or large hospital systems so there's so many regulations and so many guidelines that you have to go by and you can really be consumed by just the practice of medicine um, and for many people that's okay as an orthopedic surgeon as a african-american male orthopedic surgeon there is only a handful of us to be honest we represent african blacks or african-americans represent less than two percent of all practicing orthopedic surgeons uh, so i have in my mind i have more of a responsibility to be visible number one and then to share my story um, and to try to pull other people along with me to try to change the diversity or change the um the problems that we have with not not having equal representation because we know that patients in many uh, different in many situations get better care when they're taken care of some taken care of by a physician that looks like them. Less than two percent. Less than two percent. It's really somewhere you can debate the number if you really want to, but somewhere between one point six and one point nine percent. I don't no, think there's no, much no. to debate, right? <laughs> no, no, no. No debating. I mean, because either way, that still rounds up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna not not gonna debate that one. Not gonna debate that one. Okay, Dr. Burgess. Okay, okay. So come coming up on, on 10 years, you know, of, of you being being an orthopedic surgeon. Um and 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 now, just like you said, you you you're becoming more so intentional with, with getting your message out there. I wanna I wanna park right here on, on the podcast. Ti right. Time out time out with, with the sports doctor. Time out with the sports doctor. Talk to us j j just about what, what do you really hope this accomplishes? First first of all, tell tell us about the podcast, because people out there they may or may not know. So tell tell us a little bit about the podcast first, Dr. Bird. Just talk to us. All right. Yeah, yeah. So time out with the sports doctor podcast. That's my baby. It's been I started, I launched my first episode on Father's Day of 2021. So 6-20-2021 uh, was my first episode. I say that my podcast is the intersection of life, sports, and medicine. Now, why is that? And why is that relevant to me? As an orthopedic surgeon, as I mentioned, as a husband, as a father, as a mentor, these are all things that are very important or all pillars in my life. So I want my show to really reflect my life. So is it some people say, oh, you have a, a medical podcast. Not really. I mean, mm -hmm. sure, because I'm a doctor. Uh, but kind of the pillars of my show, I want to help strengthen your mindset uh, for success. I want to help you grow your assets uh, to achieve whatever level of wealth you want to achieve. And then I also want to give you practical tips of how to, uh, how to, how to achieve whatever level of success you want for your life. Um, because many times, especially in the minority population, when you're trying to do something, you might be the first person in your family to do it, or you might have not grown up seeing physicians or lawyers or doctors or whatever it may be, um, motivational speakers. So you might have to have someone outside of your home, outside of your local community um, to be able to look towards as a role model. And that's what I want my show to be. I want you to be able to come and say, hey, I want to be a lawyer, I say go to episode 22, or I want to be a motivational speaker, go to episode 50, because I love to connect with my patients, especially young kids or athletes or college students when they're really trying to find themselves. But I only have five, 10 minutes during my, my work day to do that. This podcast gives me 
a larger platform to be able to uh, fulfill that role. Yeah, that's strong. I mean, that's really strong. Yes, yeah, especially especially with just like you you said earlier, and you know, knowing all of the roles that you already you you already uh, are filling currently, and then mm -hmm. you know, if people try to reach out and get a hold of you, it's just like time is there, there's only so much so much time in a day. So yeah, I mean, I mean, I think that's an excellent way to you you know use the vehicle of a podcast, and then you know just just with with the work with with the work you do, but. Dr. Burgess, what what did what did it feel like? What did it feel like for you when you know when when you saw when when you looked up and and you saw that that you were number one in the top one hundred on, on on the medicine charts on on the Good Pods platform for for your podcast? What 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 did that feel like? Just 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 talk talk through that a little bit. Sure, it was a great feeling. Number one, it was unexpected, especially this early in the game. Um, but because I think being in this realm I have to deal with imposter syndrome right so i'm a physician i'm a surgeon but i don't i had to really shape my mind to say okay i'm a podcaster so when i initially saw it i kind of said oh well that's not apple Podcasts, not google google Podcasts, it's not spotify so i automatically kind of started to downgrade what that accomplishment was um, until i discussed it with uh, some mentors in the field and they were like no this is an accomplishment now the staying power of staying on top of that chart really showed me that okay this is not just given to you it's because you're consistently showing up every week it's because that you're doing all the hard work that it takes into do being a podcaster because i don't have editors i don't have virtual assistants as of yet i'm doing this work i'm finding uh, guests i'm finding topics i'm recording i'm editing i'm uh, publishing so after I really started to think about that more, I really appreciated it and said that this is something that you've earned and I'm really proud of it. And I want to continue to grow from this.